Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Precalc. Today we discuss even odd functions and piecewise functions. Again, even functions, odd functions, and piecewise functions. The definition of function f is even if f of negative x is equal to f of x for every x in its domain. The graph of an even function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Um, let's look at a couple of examples. Sketch and describe the following graphs. h of x is equal to x squared. What you want to do is that you want to make a table of values if you're asked to sketch a graph. Pick some nice x values like that fit the function, for example, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and then find corresponding values for these x values, like negative 2 is mapped with 4, negative 1 to 1, 0 to 0, 1 to 1, and 4 to 2, 2 to 4. Plot these points and then make a nice graph or curve through these points, and then that is what your function looks like nicer curve and that is an even function um, because it's symmetric on the y-axis symmetric in the y-axis notice the both sides of the y-axis and um, they look alike or look like mirror images of each other right so it's symmetric about the y-axis y-axis same thing goes for, for um, g of x, um, g of x was absolute value of x, and so you again make the table of values and plot the points and draw a line through those points. And notice again, it's an even function because it's symmetric about the y-axis, okay? It's so symmetric in the y-axis. y-axis. Okay, let us next look at odd function. A function is odd if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x for every x in its domain. And let's look at the graph for an odd function. That one is symmetric with respect to the origin. Again, we can plot all graphs from a table of values which we made up. And uh, what you will find happening is that after we plotted these points, draw a smooth curve through these points, and notice we draw the curve nicely. You realize it's symmetric about the origin, so it's odd if it's symmetric about the origin. Likewise, for m of x is equal to x to the fifth power. Again, it's pretty symmetric about the origin so it's an odd function so in summary the even function f of negative x is equal to f of x for every x in the domain and we'll look more into the algebra of this and the example is f of x is equal to x squared and on a graph it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis for odd function f of negative x is equal to negative f of x for every x in its domain the example is f of x is equal to x cubed and it is symmetric with respect to the origin. Now let us look at an even function to show algebraically that a function is even. Plug in negative x for x into the original function. The function is even if the original function is returned or the value looking like the original function is returned. So in this case the origin of f of x is x to the fourth power minus 2 x to the second power plus 1. So then you want to replace your x here with negative x. So we want to find f of negative x is going to be equal to negative of x to the fourth power minus 2 times negative x to the second power plus 1. And let's continue simplifying this. Negative x to the fourth power is the same as x to the fourth power because negative times negative times negative times negative is a positive. And then minus 2 times negative x to the second power is going to be positive x squared because negative x times negative x is a positive x squared. Um, then you add a plus 1. Notice now that your f of Negative x simplified is the same as f of x. 
So notice now that it is f of negative x is equal to f of x. So this is an even function. So this is an even function. So this is an even function. Right? So f of x is an even function here. Okay, let's look at an example that odd, or is this odd? The function is odd if we plug in negative x for x in the original function, and if the negative of the original function is returned, then it is odd. So we ask to determine whether f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x is even or odd. Now we try to figure out if it's even, what we do, do f of negative x, plug in negative x, cubed minus 2 times negative x and simplify that that becomes negative x cubed without the parentheses minus minus that becomes a plus 2x and uh, this negative x plus 2x is not the same as x cubed minus 2x so f of negative x is not equal to f of x, so the function is not even. So function is not even because f of negative x value is not equal to the f of x value. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to try to sh show if it's odd. So what we want to do is find negative f of x that would be negative of the original function, which is negative of x cubed minus 2x. Distribute the negative sign through the parentheses and what we're left with is negative x plus 2x and <coughs> negative x plus 2x uh, well I forgot the cube so let's put in the cube negative x cubed plus 2x and so This is the same as negative x cubed plus 2x in the f of negative x. So f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. And so this is an odd function. So this is an odd function. Odd function. All righty. <coughs> Let us look at a third example. Third example says determine whether f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared. Is it even odd or is it something else? So do f of negative x first, f of negative x. And um, what we do is that we replace our x in the original with negative x. So we get negative x cubed minus negative x squared and so work this out it becomes negative x cubed without the parentheses and then minus x squared because negative x squared is negative x times negative x which is positive x squared minus here remains and um is this equal to f of x and the answer is no f of negative x is not equal to f of x so this function is not even. It's not even, so we check if it's all. Let's do negative f of x, negative f of x, and then we compare it to f of negative x. So negative f of x is negative of the x cubed minus x squared. And distribute the negative through, and what we have is negative of x cubed, so it's negative x cubed plus x squared. And notice that is, this is different from negative x cubed minus x squared. So f of negative x is not equal to f of x. So the function is not odd. It's not odd. So we can now say it's not even, it's not odd. So f is neither even nor odd. It's neither even nor odd, right? X, f is neither even nor odd. So that is it for um, even on odd function we've shown graphically and we have shown um, algebraically when functions are even, odd, or neither. Now, let's talk about um, piecewise functions. Piecewise functions. And for piecewise functions, 
what you have is a function that's defined by two equations or sub-equations, each representing a part of the domain. Now, the first, this example we're given, f of x is equal to x plus 2 if x is less than 2, and 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 2. And what we want to do is that we want to evaluate f of 0. f of 0, check whether 0 is less than 2 or greater than 2, and 0 is less than 2. So we will use, um, let's call this part 1 and part 2. So we use part 1. And so we do 0 plus 2 equals 2, and that is f of 0. Then f of 2, 2 is not less than 2, so we have to use a part 2 of the piecewise function. So that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 1, that's equal to 5. And then 4 is definitely greater than 2. No problems there, so that's 2 times 4 plus 1 equals 9. So we have done our evaluation of the functions by plugging in. Now. Let us look at um, how to graph. Next thing is how to graph and then I'll find the domain and range of functions. So what we want to do is that we want to um, say what is this piecewise function telling us. G of x tells us that it's equal to x squared if x is less than 2. It is equal to 3 when x is greater than or equal to 2. So let us uh, make a table of values with x and g of x and what we know is that um, g of x would be x squared when x is less than 2, negative 2 is less than 2 so that's x squared so that's going to be 4 negative 1 squared negative 1 is less than 2 so that's going to be used in the first part of it so that's going to be um, 1 squared, that is 1. 0 is definitely less than 2. 0 squared is 0. Um, 1 definitely less than 2. Um, 1 squared is 1. But 2 is not less than. So we got to look at the second part. So we, this is going to be 3. And then um, and look at another x value. Let's say 3. It's also going to be 3 because 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Now, we want to see what this graph will look like, so let's look at um, negative 2 will be mapped to 4, one, negative 1 is mapped to 1, 0 is mapped to 0, 1 is mapped to 1, but 2 is mapped to 3, and then 3 and everything beyond that would be mapped to 3. So what we are looking at is that we're going to have a straight line from 2 onwards, and then a curve before we get to 2. But how, where will we stop this curve? Can we join it to 2 and 3? No. We have to look at what is the value, what would be the value if 2 was in the um, included. It's not included, so we got to find the value there and just make a, an open circle because it's not included. So if we looked at what would be the value at 2, where um, if we use the first part, that would have been a 4. So we'll put a circle at 4 and then continue the line on the first section up to that and leave it an open circle. So that is what our graph will be. Thank you very much. Remember to like, subscribe, and see you next lesson.